Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So I've got the brand new autumn 2017 Magpie Glitter collection for you today. Um, this was launched last weekend at London Olympia um, at the beauty show. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to get um, a video up sooner for you. I've been super busy and stuff so today was sort of the first chance. Um, but obviously this is a brand new collection of six. It's available on the website to buy as a collection at the moment and will be later on sold individually. So if you're just waiting for a couple um, you just need to hold on just for a little while longer. Um, but obviously this is a gorgeous collection. Um, there is also a collection of gel colours. I will be posting a video on that as well very soon with swatches and everything. Um, so, but today I'm going to be showing you some swatches and telling you about each of the glitters individually. Um, it's all quite a mixture in this collection. There's not sort of all the same sort of grades of glitter or anything. They're all quite different, um, but they are all phenomenally beautiful. And I am so excited to start using these. So I will just get straight on with the swatches. So let's go. So first up we have Victoria. So Victoria is quite a unique glitter. We have some silver, gold and sort of copper pieces within Victoria. They are all sort of the same size though. So this is a sort of a multi-glitzed, um, more chunky sized um, glitter. I have sprinkled Victoria onto Magpie's Honey Bunny gel colour. So as you can see, it's really nice and opaque. They're all metallic pieces. There's no holographic, but hopefully you can see all of the um, sort of different bits in this. Um, with Victoria, I would definitely suggest sprinkling or dabbing. Um, I wouldn't burnish just because she is a little bit chunkier. Not a lot. Um, but just a tiny, tiny amount, but I absolutely love this. This is perfect for autumn, winter, and we'll go with basically anything because of the different colours within her. Next up, we have Charlotte. So Charlotte is sort of a rose gold version of Angelina. Um, she is obviously a chunky mix and a sort of metallic feel but she's not just one colour of rose gold there are actually um sort of two rose gold colours within her but the, so you have a more pinky version and then you have a more coppery version I also have her at the moment on my nails encapsulated within clear acrylic on my pop here I have sprinkled over magpie's good golly miss molly um with Charlotte, I would definitely suggest sprinkling lightly as you would with Angelina or you can dab. I definitely wouldn't recommend burnishing because you're going to burnish all of those nice chunky bits off. But she's absolutely amazing. Look at her in my acrylic nail. I was dying to use her with um, acrylic and I'm so glad I did. You can really see all the lovely pieces. So next up we have Isabel. So Isabel is a really fine um, sort of darker pink rose goldy colour. I, I mean I have been describing her as dark rose gold um, just because of the sort of effect that she gives off. I've done this over Magpie's Georgie Porgy which is one of the new um, gel colours and she is really fine like Blossom. So I have literally just dabbed her on to the tacky layer of cured Georgie Porgy and then I've just brushed off the ex excess and she has literally clung like anything. It's amazing. She's so super fine to work with and she's just absolutely beautiful. So next up we have Melissa and Melissa is sort of a darker pink um, purple holographic. So I've actually done her over Magpie's pansy potter which is a really dark plummy purple um but as you can see she is really opaque and um, this is burnished so onto a cured tacky layer but you can just see all the beautiful colors coming through with melissa there's quite a few sort of different colors within her as well there's sort of like the purples and the pinks and there's a tiny tad bit of blue as well but she's absolutely 
gorgeous for the autumn. Next up we have Jessica. So Jessica is an orange holographic. I've actually swatched her over magpies, peaches and cream just to give um just to show how opaque she is. So obviously she is you know really opaque obviously depending on what colour you put underneath her you can definitely try her out over some darker oranges or bright orange but I just went for sort of a, a nudie orange colour just so that we could really see all the glitter and as you can see there's so many different colours running through her she's going to be perfect for Halloween I think um, and I have burnished her onto the cured tacky layer but you could definitely sprinkle this one then finally we have jennifer so jennifer is basically a dark navy metallic so she is very opaque i've sprinkled her over magpie's tinker taylor which is from the new magpie gel color collection so you could definitely burnish but i just sprinkled because i thought you would see all of the bits a little bit easier i actually wore jennifer to um london olympia and out. everybody complimented me on it they absolutely loved it she is super super beautiful and encapsulating this in acrylic will be phenomenal so it's absolutely amazing that magpie have brought out a navy metallic and obviously she is opaque so she will always sort of remain this navy color but you can definitely try her out either some different um shades so there you have all of the swatches um i think my favorites out of this collection are probably charlotte isabel and jennifer um but i think as a collection it is absolutely beautiful um there is definitely um a lot of difference between um existing colors unfortunately i haven't got any um swatches at home to sort of show you a comparison with um but because they're all sort of um so obviously we've got victoria which is a metallic so she's quite different from Susie which is a holographic Charlotte is obviously a lot chunkier than like Rosie or Wendy um Isabel I mean there's nothing like this at all in the magpie collection um Melissa is a lot darker than things like Lulu and Livy um again with um Jessica nothing like this at all in the magpie collection and then obviously with Jennifer Again, there's nothing like this in the Magpie collection. It's a lot darker and obviously metallic. Um, so I think really Magpie have outdone themselves with this collection. They've really listened to what customers have wanted and they have definitely delivered. It is a gorgeous collection. I've already used every single colour um, with all of my clients because they're absolutely in love with it and it's a definitely a good way to start off October. Um, so I hope that you liked this um, swatch and review video guys. I will leave Magpie's link down below for you. I'll also leave links for my sprinkling and burnishing and dabbing video so you can see um, how I apply the glitters and what I'm sort of talking about in my video today if you don't already know. Um, so please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all again soon. Bye!